right. Well, I'm going to uh, just ask you, of course, there was the original movie in the 1960s, yeah. and Alan Bates obviously played the same role. I was wondering if you ever watched that movie or if you decided sort of deliberately to try and avoid it altogether. No, I didn't watch him um, because I, I didn't want I didn't want my choices to be influenced by, by um, previous versions. I, I wanted to approach it like it was the first time we would make the film. Um, but I'll see it in the, in the future. I'm, I'm really curious to see it, absolutely. But, um, you know, I, I wanted to have an open mind and I didn't want, you know, any elements to interfere with, with a very intuitive and instinctive process of, of, of approaching that character. And, um, and if you watch, like, the originals, you can choose not to be affected by it, but to some extent you will be affected anyway. So I was like, no, I'm not gonna, do I'm not gonna go there. Of course, like Gabriel is a very kind of, he's a brooding figure. He's quite, it's not always about what he says, he's quite sort of internalized. Mm. I was wondering, does sometimes having less dialogue, does that almost give you sometimes more to work with? Because you've almost, it's so much about what's inside. In the end, it's all about intention. And, and um, sometimes an intention is translated in, in what a person says, sometimes it's translated in, in how a person behaves. Um, so it's all about intention. So as long as you're, you know, connected to the intention, it doesn't matter if it's if it's um, translated in silence or, or or in words. You know, it's it's um, it's all about where does the silence come from or where do the words come from? That that that's the that's that's the question. Mm. And of course, I mean, what with this and a little chaos and sweet Francaise recently, we've seen you sort of turn towards the period drama of late. I was Should wondering if that was a, a conscious decision or no. if, if you, these are just roles you just happen to have stumbled across at the same time. No, it looks like a con yeah. conscious decision, doesn't it? Uh, no, not at all. Not at all. Um, it's just a, you know, it's just crazy coincidence. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what I can say, but it's crazy coincidence. No, seriously. And of course, after sort of Rust and Bone and Bullhead, I'm sure a lot of people have asked you, when are you going to be making movies in America? And I'm, I'm sort of now turning that on his head and asking, are you going to be making movies back in Belgium or going back to France to make films soon? And do you hope to try and combine Hollywood and... and kind I don't of know. I just go with the flow. I, I just look at the next thing that is coming up. I, 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 don't, I, don't, consider, I don't consider what's going to happen in, in one year, two years, three years. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to be where I have to be, which is in the moment, which is right here talking to you, and that, that's what matters. And, and, and the rest is, the rest is, is um, of course, you consider it, you think of it, da, 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 but, you know, at the same time, it's just one thing at a time, not three things, one thing at a time. And, of course, the next thing we will be sort of seeing, I guess, the Danish girl, which is sort of really yeah. excited about, alongside Eddie Redmayne. And, of course, there's been a lot said about uh, his performance, particularly after the Oscar, sort of how... What's he like in this movie and like to work alongside? And how, how do you think Well, I can be very short and sharp about it. It would, it would really surprise me if he doesn't get a second Oscar nomination for, for, um, for what he did in this film. Um, it's, it, it was amazing to see him work. Um, the level of commitment and, and the sensibility and the intelligence of... of and and um, it's 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 admirable. It, it would it would sur it would really surprise me if he doesn't get a second Oscar nomination. That would be that would be outrageous. Um, so yeah, you better be ready, man. <laughs> The second Oscar for Eddie, yeah. two times in a year, trust me. <laughs> and just uh, very quickly before I go, I mean, Michael Sheen uses one of my favorite ever chat up lines in Far From the Madding Crowd, which is, I've got interesting pigs. And I was just wondering if <laughs> I tried that in this day. Did he say that in he the says, film? He says, he's trying to kind of- I've got look, interesting pigs? Yeah, he's, <clears> he's, Is that he, what he says? Yeah, he's, he's, trying trying to, he's trying to tempt her into, you know, he wants her to choose him. Oh, yeah. and he says to her- But that's like, like Gabriel Oak in the beginning, uh, you could have a frame for cucumbers. Yeah. When I read that, I was like, man, that's not gonna work. No. If I tried, I've got interesting pigs now as a chat line. Do you think I'd have any luck? Um, depends where you are. On a farm. Oh, yeah, then you'll probably get lucky, man. With a pig, of course. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time Cheers, today. Man. Much appreciated. Cheers. Thank, Cheers. thank you. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.